Today is super quick video on how to safely update Reaper to a new version. Once you've downloaded the installer, you could just run it and it will automatically update Reaper, preserving all your configuration. But to trust is good, not to trust is better, especially if we talk about computers. We can take a good precaution Let's save the Reaper configuration so we can move under option, preferences, general, and here we can export Reaper configuration. Here we can select what type of configurations we want to save. If this is your first time exporting a configuration, I would go for every single voice listed here. This is also a good practice to uh, create a backup for your configurations. Once it's done, you can save. You can call this like uh, Reaper Backup Config. What day is today? 29 August 24. We can save. It will create a zip folder with all our configurations. Once it's done, you can click OK. This is also a good solution if you, let's say, you want to install Reaper on a different machine and let's say you want to export just your color theme or your shortcut configuration. Using this command is a quick and easy way to copy and paste all your settings. We can close Reaper. We can now pick our installer. Make sure that Reaper is closed. OK. We can run the installer, I agree. It will automatically locate the folder where you already have Reaper installed, which on Windows is Program Files Reaper. Here I want everything except for the Start menu shortcut and we can install. Once completed, we can close the window and it will ask if you want to uh, run Reaper, yes. And here we have our brand new Reaper. And if the process was done correctly, you should have your new Reaper version with all your older configurations and color themes, etc. If for any reason, let's say that you had a system failure and your configuration has gone, no worries, go move under option, preferences, general, import configuration and here you have the resaved Reaper configuration. And this was how to quickly and safely update Reaper. If you found this video useful, consider subscribing and I'll catch you in my next video. Ciao ciao!